So besides the two critiques you will write for the live theater performances you experience, um, your other major writing assignment for this class is, um, we'll call it a term paper, a history paper, a research paper, a paper, which is a little bit an anachronistic nowadays uh, with the, the digital aspects of our lives. There's really no paper involved. That being said, let's talk briefly about my expectations for that paper. Um, if you read the guidelines, uh, they're relatively open. I invite you to explore the different periods of theater history that are covered in part two of our textbook. Select one of those periods of history to do some in-depth research and then craft a paper based on your research. Now, some of you may want to explore an entire period of time. Um, Greek theater, Asian theater, um, the theater of the Italian Renaissance. Others may find it more interesting to explore the work of a specific playwright um, or a particular theater movement. Uh, go dig down a little deeper into some of those facts and details. You know, explore musical theater in the early 20th century in America. Um, maybe the writings of um, Moliere or Shakespeare or a more contemporary playwright. Uh, some of you may find it more interesting to look at non-Western theater forms. We don't spend a lot of time in this class talking about the theater of Asia or Africa. Um, but they are very much part of the world theater stage and sometimes it's interesting to look and see uh, what parallels developed in these non-Western cultures um, independently. So, you know, what aspects of human storytelling are shared worldwide. So, your paper should be five to six pages long. And that's your standard sort of 12-point font, double-spaced, that sort of thing. Um, formatting should be uh, the classic Microsoft format. So it needs to be a doc or a docx. Um, it could be a text file, but if you're using something like um, Pages, right, if you're a Mac user, please save it as a doc or a docx. Um, if you're using WordPerfect, or even if you're using Microsoft Works, please, please, please save it as a doc or a docx because um, D2L has issues. With, with how it, it processes um, these documents for me to read at the other end. Um, you're going to save all of the work you turn in to the Dropbox, and there'll be a Dropbox slot for each uh, written assignment. And um, there you go. If you have any questions, you know, throw them out there. Uh, I try to leave sort of an open discussion forum. Um, where you all can chat about ideas, bounce things off. Uh, you can email each other as well inside D2L. It's a closed circuit, so you can't email out of D2L to the wider world. Nor can you email into D2L from an outside email account. It's, it's a closed circuit. But it's a great way to reach me and your other colleagues in the class. I look forward to reading your papers and I will try to give you timely response.